You know, every time you get a new administration, you hear big new aspirations. But can Maryland's governor make a, day, a dent in the major issues facing the city and state? Poverty, namely child poverty, is still affecting thousands in Baltimore right now. WMER 2 News' Jack Watson checked in with a local shelter today. Jack? Yeah, Kelly, the new governor, Wes Moore, has spoken at length about poverty, both on the campaign trail and in his speech at the State House this week. It's a major issue here at home, and a local family shelter is hoping for good things. My mom was a single mom, uh, and she did everything she could to ensure that I was successful. This is Sarah's Hope Shelter, one of three St. Vincent de Paul operates in Baltimore. On its team is Jarrell McRae, a Baltimore native and a past victim of child poverty. Our constituents that we serve here are normal people, moms and dads, families who are just working to get back on their feet so that they can be a productive citizen in our city and continue to make our city great. The aid this organization provides, shelter, meals, and help with school, is a support system, one many thought they'd never need. We know it is unacceptable that while Maryland has the highest median income in the country, one in eight of our children live in poverty. The words from the newly inaugurated governor this week, and for Baltimore, they cut deep. But what materially can anyone do to improve things? McRae tells me some of Moore's key proposals, including expanding public transit, job training, and renewing the governor's office for children, can help the people they serve. What we're seeing here are young people coming with their families, literally having nothing. And that being really the, at the forefront of their minds. Shelters, McRae says, took a hit during the pandemic. But as those places recover, McRae hopes folks pull together. We need everyone's input, all hands on deck, to tackle the next frontier of what it is to serve Baltimore. And I hope that our Baltimore constituents understand that and get invested. Well, I'd like to leave you with some numbers here. According to data from Baltimore City, a little over one in four kids suffered from child poverty in 2020, Kelly.